fertilizer today. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me over that pump. Maybe if I stand behind this tank, it's not so bad. I got a ways to pump this tank up. I got to take it up there to about, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but up there at the top of the neck, it says about 1,500 gallons. However accurate these tanks are, I got to take it up somewhere about there. And I've got plenty in the truck to do that, but then I got to go fill the truck and take it down to Watoma. Well, I don't have to fill the truck. I need about 2,000 gallons to run down to Otoma. Fill a tank down there, then bring it back here, put a bunch more in the truck, and then take it back to where I got it from, and fill Mark's tractor with the tanks on it so you can go back to cultivating beans when it dries out. Because it rained again this morning. I didn't do any work this morning because it rained. But uh, now, I've got fertilizer to pump. So... I'm going to be driving that for a couple hours here this afternoon, but uh, yeah, this video is going to be a bunch of short clips because I don't have a lot of battery left on the camera, so I'm just going to film until it dies, and whatever you get is what you get, but uh, maybe I had more in that truck cause, than I thought because I'm just about to 600 gallons here, you guys probably can't see that, but that... Right here it says 600 gallons and the fertilizer is here. But I'll get this wagon filled and I'll run back to the farm and put a bunch of fertilizer in the truck. And maybe I'll show you a little bit of that. That won't. That's generally not as loud as this because that's an electric pump. The pump on the truck is gas. But that truck will hold. That back tank there, that white one is about a thousand gallons. That front one, we usually put about 3,000, 3,100 in. It'll hold a little more than 3,100, but we don't fill it full just because we don't want it sloshing out the top. So, yeah, I'll, I'll show you a little bit of that here when I get back to the farm, so stay tuned. Well, this is our setup at the farm for storing and pumping liquid fertilizer. We've got a dozen of those white poly tanks over there. And three of these blue tanks over here and there's another white one in behind them. So we've got 10 tanks that we use for storing fertilizer. These steel ones don't get used anymore. Uh, then we've got that electric pump with an air hose running back to an air compressor to blow out our lines so we don't get our hands covered in fertilizer when we unhook stuff. Uh, everything is plumbed 3 inch here, even though all of our wagons are plumbed 2 inch. We've got a 3 to 2 reducer hose there. It just couples into the end of that hose that we can then hook onto our wagons. Now the truck here, we can fill 3 inch or 2 inch if we've got a coupler for that. And the reason it's set up like that is because this used to all be 2 inch, but all of the trucks coming from the co-op to deliver were plumbed 3 inch. So when we were filling here, we'd have to fill two inch, but when we get a truck delivered and just transload it onto this truck, we could run it three inch. Now, now we've got this all plumbed three inch, so we just fill it three inch, and I'll show you here. This is the fill hose coming from the pump on the truck that we used to fill our wagon, and that's plumbed two inch. Everything on the trunk, truck is plumbed two inch, for all of our wagons. But I'm gonna load this up with about 2,000 gallons and I'm gonna head to Watoma with it. Probably gonna throw a splash of diesel in the truck just so I've got plenty to make it down there and back. And then I'll keep you guys posted. So this is our setup at the farm, if I can hang on to you. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for a little bit more. I'm not quite done yet.